Hello, Jack. Where are we going? <laughs> We're going to Wakefield. Uh, 5 to 11. We've just finished directing in London. Um, and then we've got a three hour drive to Wakefield. Get there about two ish. Providing I don't need a wee. Half past two. And then we're getting up at seven doing BBC Radio Leeds. My first pressing I've been accompanied to. I have Stuart Hodge, the uh, Destination Jews we press officer. Is that the right word? That'd be press me. Officer. I always think it's strange that they're called press officers. Well, I think officers are quite militant. I prefer public relations consultant. Rock and roll Hollywood lifestyle. Driving to Wakefield at um, 11 o'clock. Uh, 12 minutes past two, we'll get there. Booyah! That is how we roll! And we're off ski! So, Wakefield and beyond. Oh, we're an hour in, an hour in, oh. two and a half hours left. It's, uh, it's midnight. We've just realised that we've done a good 70 miles and we've had, that, <laughs> we've had a handbrake on the whole time. That's saying, but we've got a megaphone. So, showing it. Mm, showing it my I just like the flavour of them. To be honest, we've got some juice left. He's got two. <laughs> Two large oasises. And we can Oasi. Work, can work out as OSI, Oasis, Oasis, is, OS, Oasis. All like a different thing, like because emu. Jackie and Oasis. A, a group of emus is not emus, is it? It's um, emu. Emus. Emus. <laughs> <laughs> I love the fact that we were trying to overtake a Lithuanian lorry with a handbrake on. So we, we went via Belarus and Latvia and eventually got round the fucker. This makes you a wee purple. Don't Does it? Mm. I don't have a purple wig. Mm. I'd get scared, I think it's blood. Do you know what I call wee? Uh, wee, wee means little in my language, and then <laughs> yeah, the, the word that you use wee for, I call pish. <laughs> I was in Amsterdam the other day and came up with the term wab to wab. Oh, yes, you phoned me about this. <laughs> yeah, I did, yeah. <laughs> Here you go, by the way. Thank you. Thank, you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Adios, arrivederci, goodbye. Goodbye, motherfuckers. Hi, Is you're it, fucking yeah. tall. See when yeah. you stand up. It's, hey. uh, it's two in the morning. Yes. We've we'll stopped for a quick tea break. Everybody's tired. Uh, tip shelf services are wonderful services. One of the, probably one of the best services I've been to all day. Services. And then tea. Yeah, some tea. Stay still, cause I'm gonna put milk in my tea. Not oh very shit! Good I've broken the fucking. Actually, can we expand the repertoire? Tea bag on a stick. Excuse me, pal. Um. What's it like working in tip shelf? In an ordinary place. Aye. I've lived here my whole life, so, well, Blackwell, which isn't too far away. I've lived there 18 years. Oh. Jack was very entertained when I had a conversation with a bus driver in a language that he didn't understand. Flatulence reducing pants or <laughs> flatulence masking pants. And I decided to recite this to you, and then a bus driver next to us. Like, it turned out he was a bus driver, we didn't go in with that knowledge. And he went, oh aye, that's a bit weird, isn't it? Or some words to that effect. So I asked him, where's that accent for pal? And uh, <laughs> then we sort of launched into a tirade. <laughs> and Jack found it rather humorous, didn't you? It's 30 minutes past 20, 15. <laughs> I haven't had a, more than four hours of sleep since I was about six years A baby. Years old. Jack's a master of accommodation booking as all of the cast and crew of Destination Juice, but he will profess. I am a master of many skills, booking accommodation proficiently, not fun of those skills. And that, boys and girls, is how you get a Bangladeshi visa. That's us, we're here, we're woke. Have you seen a leisure centre? Uh, this is not... 6.55 in the morning, Stuart has arisen, he's got his posh shoes out, what would you nan say they are? Snazzy, hey. got his snazzy cloggers out. <laughs> Good morning Jack, how are you? Uh, oh fuck. Uh, Interesting uh. time to start the video diary. With what a fucking tip. We're actually driving past Morley now, and Morley is where I woke up one morning in 2015 and decided to start an inflatable hot tub hire company. Which Morley. Started the entire shenanigan that is Destination Dewsbury. I think I'm still utilising the last scregs of yesterday's energy. Aye, adrenaline is the name of the game, isn't it? Adrenaline, yeah. yeah. Things just razzmatazz and glitz and glamour, don't they, mate? But actually, at the end of the day, it's just 
running yourself into the fucking ground on a repeated basis. Uh, we've got the, this appearance on the radio this morning. We've got the rest of the cast coming down this afternoon, as you will see. It's going to be quite an exciting day, we hope. <laughs> so, hey. Walk in. Jack's checking his phone, he's just been a radio star. Alright! I thought video killed the radio, video star. Video didn't fucking touch the radio star, man. I am the radio star. The radio star is alive and kicking. Mm. Go on the radio! Sweet. Now we're going for a wee bit of brekkie. Uh, and then we've got the press day ahead, don't we? Press day ahead, get some breakfast down, uh, scran, 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 straight to the cinema. Bang, 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 bang. Beautiful! Love it! Nine o'clock, we've done our radio interview. Stuart cacked his pants last night, so we've got to find him some, find him some new underwear in TK Max before we resume our day. Boys girls, for the video diary, we have Mr. Thomas Gilling, whose real name is yeah. something else. Gabby Wen. P.T. McShee and hands. Hello. They're £142. This is Dan Shelton. Dan plays a potato on legs <laughs> called Gas. <laughs> oh, look at that. Right. Six <laughs> <laughs> Where's your wig gone? Um, I don't wear it actually out publicly now. Out of Wigington? Yeah. Very nice camera, this. So we are in the Irish... <laughs> okay, so we are in the Batley Irish Democratic League Club. This is where Destination Dewsbury began. The very first scenes were filmed just over there. And our very own Tom Gilling here. I had my very first experience of speed dating, went really well. In the film you hopefully recognise the upholstery of the seats, yes. and that will be identified. This is one of the locations that we go to. I'm sorry, I have no idea who any of these people are. <laughs> so it was, it was day one, yeah. first scenes, it was when we got to meet all of the crew uh, and all of the team that then worked through with us for the rest of the production. So it was the first opportunity for us to all come together and see ourselves on camera and for everything to happen. So it was like real fun memories. Is this, is this, is this helping this light here? <laughs> yes, thank you, Dan. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Well, here we are. Another very important location. Uh, somewhere towards the end of the film. I don't know what if you can see anything. Very dark. It is very dark. There's and something seriously lacking from the last time we were here, though. Uh, the, the fake gravestone, perhaps? Oh, I had a sandwich. Oh, oh yeah, oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, oh, I'd like a sorry, sandwich. Sorry, mate. So, we are about to reenact a scene that was sadly cut from the final draft of the movie, um, and it is known as the um, the poo slap scene. The shitty hand slap, can I say that? Can you say shitty hand slap? I've We've said, said it, it twice oh, now. No. Oh, we'll have to go with now it. Now it's an 18. Brilliant. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> Right, we will reenact it with action. Shut up, you seeping urethra! Do not tell me to shut up. I don't know where we are. In <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I have a shitty hand. Do not tell me to shut up. We're in Chester. Bloody Chester! Where is in Chester anyway? Don't shut it and don't hit me either. Don't, don't hit me. You he just hit me. Will you stop hitting right? He just hit me. <laughs> Leg over here, come on, let's go. <laughs> <laughs>